Hi sweet peas, it is Sharma. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. So today is Thursday and I'm gonna share with you a secret. It is very special and it honestly has changed my life. This may sound very dramatic, but for any of you who have experience with bras, you'll understand that this is a daily thing. And for me, at least, it was a very uncomfortable thing until I went for a bra fitting. And now I'm going to impart the knowledge of that experience to you. You're welcome. I was so nervous to go for a bra fitting. It's something that I probably knew that I should have done a long time ago, but I just always put it off because, you know, like, you wear bras, it's fine. It's not like the most important thing in the world. You know, it, it doesn't feel like, oh my God, I need to change this right now if your bras are not comfortable. And also it's just a bit of a weird thing to do to like go to a shop and get your boobs looked at, you know? I am the kind of person who has always bought my bras from Primark. I've always, always had t-shirt bras. They're £2.50 from Primark. And they have funny designs like watermelons or stripes or that kind of thing. My very first bra was a 30 double A 30, 28, I think it may be in like a 28 double A from uh, Woolworths. That shop no longer exists. That is how old I am. <laughs> but after that, I just remember growing a lot. And then my mum bought me a bra and it was a C cup. And I love t-shirt bras because they just looked normal bra shaped. You know, they're kind of, they're round, they're padded, there's no seams. And it just, it just stuck with me. That's all I was. I was a 32 C, that's it. And you know what that left me with? It meant that every single day since my boobs have resembled more than just a raisin, I have been wearing the wrong shape and size of bra. Every single time I run up the stairs, every time I sneeze, and whenever I choose to wear a t-shirt that is in any way slightly tighter fitting, you end up getting this like, double boob thing going on. It's just, it's just not a good look. I always found that bras were these very hideous, uncomfortable, but necessary boob cages that were just inherently frustrating. Until a dear friend of mine said that I should go and get a fitting, cause she did. And I thought she was absolutely insane. I honestly hated the idea of getting measured because what that meant to me was going and standing in front of this very judgmental, beautiful, skinny, bra model person who would have to see me topless and then like judge my boobs and then I would be forced to pay ridiculously overpriced prices, that didn't make sense, for bras that were very expensive in the shop because it's just what you do, right? Wrong, I could not have been any more wrong. It was so not that at all. So I went to Debenhams, for those of you who don't know, it's quite like a posh, I wanna say, you know, like a, a an expensive, aimed at the middle class, middle-aged woman kind of place. But they have great quality stuff and they also offered free bra fittings. So, you know, a girl's gotta get a bargain. <laughs> but yeah, I went up to the bra section and I met this really lovely lady. She was a skinny mini to be fair, but she was also absolutely stunning and the friendliest person I've ever come across. And she took me to the changing rooms and we had a chat with my clothes on <laughs> about what kind of bras I currently wear, what I'm not really liking about them. And I have to reiterate this, at no point ever did I have to go topless in front of her at all. That is not a thing, it is a myth, and I've busted it for you. There you go. She asked me if I felt comfortable standing there in just my bra, so like taking my top off in front of her, and I was like, yeah, sure, that's cool. I don't personally understand why some people find bras to be embarrassing or like a taboo. I often think that bras are overly sexualized. So are boobs, you know? Like, they're just fundamental. They are a part of our natural biology, and they're a lot of fun and I'm digressing. <laughs> Back to the point, she took a measuring tape out and asked if she could measure my waist, which she did, and that's when she sort of had a look at me and went, hmm, hmm. And that's when she determined that I was actually wearing the wrong bra size. So, teach time, hocha! Bras are measured in two main ways. Do I have a bra? Shall I get a bra? Let me get a bra. Measuring bra sizes. We have two things here. The first is the cup itself, which is the bits that hold the boobies. In the UK, they are measured going up in letters. So the smallest is a double A, then it goes A, B, C, D, double D, E, F, G, H, blah, 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 blah. After a quick Google search, the average size is between a B and a C, just so you know, there you go. So yeah, that is the cup. The second way in which bras are measured are this bit here these long flappy bits that go around you, and that is called the band. And that is measured in inches based on your waist measurement right here. Starts at around a 26, I think. It's like the smallest you could probably go to. It goes 28, 
30, 32, 34, 36, 38. So in theory, you can just determine your own bra size without the help of an expert. Loads of people don't go. Loads of people seem happy with their bras. I thought I could do it myself. I measured here. It's a 30 to a 32. It's technically 31 and something. And cup size, I just kind of sort of went with the one that I always used to go with, as I said, which was a C. But the benefit of having an expert help you is that they see more than just the cup size and the band size. It may boggle your mind to know this because I didn't know this beforehand, but actually boobs have different shapes. Like not all boobs are the same shape at all. There are actual categories of boob shapes. There are categories of body shapes, which also differs. And there's also this bit here, which some people call a cleavage, but this bit in between your boobs, that size and gap differs too. So all of those things really should be assessed when looking at what bra size and what bra type you should be using. And that's knowledge that I just didn't have before that this really lovely lady talked me through and I was just like, mind blown. It made so much sense. And whilst it also may be obvious to some of you, some of you may not know that boobs are not symmetrical, just like our hands, just like our feet, just like our faces. We are just not symmetrical people. And so my left boob, left boob, right boob, let me see. My right boob has always been significantly smaller than my left boob and I didn't really know what that meant in terms of bra size for me, in terms of cup, you know, do I go for a one that fits this one and one that fits that one. So C kind of fit them both, but this one was often bulging over a little bit. And it was just really nice to have someone go, yeah, you're wearing the wrong one, but don't worry, the right one is this. Another fun fact for you, you technically have two bra sizes. There can be multiple actually. There's this thing called sister sizing, which means that the correlation between the two, so if it's, all right, that makes it sound too complicated. I am a 32 double B, that is what I am. But if I went for a cup size higher, and a waist size lower, it would end up being the same bra size. So whilst I am a 32 double D, I'm also a 30 E. I know it sounds confusing, but just like when you have jeans, you can sometimes be a 14 and sometimes be a 12, or sometimes if you have a dress, sometimes you can be a 10, sometimes you can be an eight. Like, it's, it's a similar thing. And it also works the same way in terms of brands of bras. Sometimes you'll find a double D from one brand and make is a lot better and suited to your body than an E from another make. So I guess just like with everything else in life, it's just not simple. <laughs> so being a double D, I found out that actually I was two cup sizes bigger than I thought I initially was, which was insane. Like my tiny mind could not comprehend how that could be the case. But this is my point. This is why I needed a bra expert to tell me because it's not a conclusion that I would have come to by myself and I'm not going to go out there and buy different bras that are you know expensive or would cost me any amount of money just to try it out. So there you go I got my actual size and that was only one half of what was super important and useful. The other really important thing that we did was then try out a variety of different styles and types of bras that I didn't realize made such a difference to how you felt. The different types of bras are not just a visual thing, though it is important to wear bras that you feel sexy and feeling yourself in because, you know, like, you still wear them even if they're not seen to the world, you want them to be pretty for you, you know? But yeah, it's more than just prettiness. Different bras feel different ways. There was one bra that I really didn't get on with. There was this thing that sort of you fastened on the arms and you grabbed and it kind of thingy at the front and it was just like a bit, bit of this and a Eh. But apart from that one, it was really fun to learn about the different bra styles and it was really fun to explore which ones I liked the best, how they made me look, how they made me feel, the different kind of hugs and holds they have. It's almost like, you know, when someone gives you a hug, there are different types of hugs. Some people can give bad hugs, but sometimes there can be multiple types of good hugs, bear hugs, underarmed hugs, overarmed hugs, these kind of hugs that all feel good, but in different ways. That's what bras are, but bras are hugs. Guys, bras are hugs. So I have always, always gone for t-shirt bras. That is what this bra is right here. There are various reasons for this. Number one, I just think they look more like conventional bras. They have really cool patterns on them most of the time because they're just smooth and seamless and who wouldn't want a pattern of watermelons on your watermelons, you know? And the seam thing really was a big deal for me. I liked the idea that they seemed padded and therefore supportive. And when I put some clothes on over the top, I didn't see this line and then this little indent that made like a nipple shape, which, you know, it's cool for some people. But for me personally, I don't like seeing that on myself. So t-shirt bra was a way to go. 
but I also knew that there are different types of bras that I really, really didn't like, and I just have never given them a chance. The first was a balcony bra. Oh my god, I'm gonna bring it back. I didn't realise how much demo was needed in this video. So, balcony bras, unlike this one, which kind of curves up to sort of support a lot of your boob, balcony bras go across like this, like a little balcony. Imagine seeing, you know, when the royal family come down, and they do the little kissy thing on the on the little round bit? That, that is a balcony. Yep. I just explained what a balcony was really badly. I tried a balcony bra and I hated the balcony bra as I thought I would. They're not very supportive for me. For me, my boobs were just like, felt like they were kind of like jelly, just kind of resting and about to go at any moment, <laughs> which was not a good look. The other two types of bras that I was really against trying, to be honest, is anything that wasn't underwired. So back to the demo. This here at the bottom of the bra, if you feel a bra has a hard wire in it, just there. It makes it supportive, it gives it its shape. There were loads of conspiracy theories a while ago about how underwire can cause breast cancer or really bad body disformation. It's not a proven thing, it's just one of those things that's spoken about a lot. I'm not going to get into that debate. I like underwired bras and I just don't feel supported in non-underwired bras. I tried on a bralette, which she gave to me, which didn't have an underwire at the bottom, and that was the only type that I would consider wearing, but that's because it had such a thick band underneath. It almost acted like an underwire in itself. So yes, I found out and was very happy to confirm that I didn't like non-underwired bras. I like bras with underwire. The third type of bra that I didn't like, as I mentioned, I love these bras, t-shirt bras, because I love the padding. They feel squidgy, they feel, oh, what's the word? They've got a shape to them, you know? They've got a form. They always look like a bra, right? They always look like there could be a boob in that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What can I compare it to? Okay, like a cake mould. You've got tinned cake moulds, which are metal, and they always have the shape of the mould, right? Then you have silicone cake moulds, which I was trying to use as the other example, but just like a tin cake mould, they are padded bras. <laughs> In fact, they're more like padded bras, right? Because they maintain the shape of the mould, but if you touch the silicone, it can be bendy too. A non-padded bra would kind of be like an icing bag. It just is floppy, and empty, and then when you put the icing in, it takes the shape of the icing. Padded bras are silicone cake moulds. Bras are hugs, padded bras are silicone cake moulds, and unpadded bras are icing bags. There you go, I am such a good teacher today. What? But yeah, I've always, always liked padded bras. I think unpadded bras, to me, just reminded me of my mum and my nan, and also, it just, it just, I don't like the look of them very much. I always found them to be very old, they often look very lacy, it just wasn't for me. However, going to this bra experience changed that. I really like non-padded bras now. In fact, they work so much better for my boob shape. And that was the most important thing that I learned. So I normally wear padded bras, and because there was a fitted shape, my boobs that didn't quite fit the perfect normal shape just sometimes moulded out of that a little bit. Whereas now, actually the bra that I'm wearing now, let me show you, look, this is quite possibly the worst outfit to be wearing. So this bra here is a half padded bra, and it just works so much better for my bra shape, because on the top, in my boobs can do what they want. They can fill the icing bag. Get it? Get it? It was a good analogy. As they should. As they naturally intend to. So now when I go up and down the stairs, my boobs don't pop out. They just fit. And I wouldn't have learned that if I didn't go in to see the bra fitter. And also another point that I was so wrong on, I thought I was going to go into Debenhams and I thought that I was going to spend easily £60 down with three pairs of bras that I probably wasn't going to wear again. I could not have been any more wrong. I went in, this fitter, when she brought me the bras to try on, they all came from the clearance section, and the, this particular bra was seven quid, the other bra that I'm about to show you was £3.60, which is not that much more expensive than the ones that I normally buy in Primark, and I walked away, I think, having spent around 20, definitely under £25, with five new pairs, all that I really, really love. The whole thing took about 45 minutes, it was a total game changer for me, and I honestly cannot recommend it enough. Tell you what, let me go and show you a proper, proper unpadded bra. Here, you see this? Doesn't that look like the grossest, most granified bra? on the side, I was just like, why are you giving this to me? 
absolutely no way am I gonna wear this. Why? Why? But I tried it and look, it's wonderful. It doesn't look granified at all. It fits my boobs so well. It feels like I'm having a huge hug and I love it. And having someone to talk you through means that they can show you things like how the straps are supposed to work, how they work on my, for example, particularly narrow shoulders to stop slipping down, though I'm still not 100% on how to do that. Also, how to put the bra on properly in the first place. My boob shape in particular means that, well, you guys might get this too, when you put on a bra, here at the bottom, it kind of just always sits higher. There's like a gap between the whole thing and the rest of my body. And I really, really hated that and I thought that meant that my bra was too big and didn't fit me. But actually, the way you put a bra on is you need to get in there and scoop the little guy up and make sure that this does fit right underneath. And you know what? Just little tricks like that really, really help. They really help. It sounds like common sense, but until you go and speak to someone about it, you're not gonna know. And also, as I'm now sitting here in my bra, she told me so many things about the fit that I just thought, whoa, is this right for me? But actually, it's okay. I have a big gap here in between my boobs. I have friends who have boobs like this. I personally think that's a lot prettier, but it's not my body and that's okay. And so these kind of bras, which are free forming, fit my body so much better and make me feel more protected. Because of my boob shape, push-up bras and plunge bras are not my friend and that's okay. And also if extra parts of your body like this do this, see what I mean? It kind of goes over a little bit here that's okay too. It doesn't mean that the bra is not fitting properly. This is how my bra fits. See? Let me show you. See this bit here? Can you see this? Like this? That doesn't mean the bra is not fitting properly. That is not fat or unhealthy stuff. It is just skin. It is just flesh. That is a horrible word, but it is in essence what we are made of. And the biggest question, to be honest, is how it feels. So for me, this feels perfect. It doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel like it's pushing in or, you know, gripping me in any other areas. Apparently a great test whether your bra is fitting perfectly is if you put on a white t-shirt underneath, does it look like anything is bulging out? Because if it does, then it's probably not fitting you right. But there you go. Honestly, it was one of the best experiences. It has changed my life in a small but meaningful way that I now feel all the time. And I cannot encourage you enough to go and do it, especially if you're not feeling very comfortable with the bras that you're currently wearing. I think you'd be really surprised at what you can learn. And also how much fun it is to find a new fashion accessory. I love bra shopping. So if you're in town and you haven't got it done before, go and get your bra fitted. It takes under an hour, it's not scary, you don't need to book in advance, and it is super, super useful. I've really enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it and have maybe learned something from it. I may do more boob bra related videos in the future. That could be my USP. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Go and get your boobs checked and tell me all about it in the comments below. If you're feeling brave, let's talk about boobs and bra sizes. It shouldn't be something that's stigmatized or sexualized. This is the kind of thing that we should be learning in schools. Bras are hugs, bras are piping bags. Yes. Anyway, that is it from me today. I'm gonna go put my clothes on and carry on with the rest of my day. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you next Monday with another vlog. Be kind and have a great day.